What's up? And today, I'm gonna do a review about Fight to Learn. Fight to Learn is all about the struggle to go to school. Like, you know how some people just take school as a joke? But no, these people, they actually learn in school. Like, like these people took it seriously. They were forced to go to war out of these schools. Like they just were forced to go to war from education. And then people actually tried to escape this. They tried to escape and continue their education with this. And some people actually tried to learn. They were thrown bombs at. Like from the sky, they just, they just go boom, bomb. That this book talks about is poverty, discrimination, and viol violence, and protest movements. Protest movements, I wouldn't say is a struggle to go to school, but it's just like what they did to go to school. Protesting, protesters had big signs. Equal schools, equal schools. The police came with big, massive water tanks with hoses and they just came, washed people with the water, made, ruined their signs and, you know, everyone got scattered. The Attawapa Scats were a tribe who lived in North Ontario. They were promised that a school was going to be built in like one or two years. They had portables at schools. They didn't even have school building. Portables are like, you know, they stink a lot because of your clothing from outside. You hear the flush instead of the teacher's voice. And it's like everything mixed together. A kitchen, a bathroom, a classroom, a music room, a gym, everything. And then after 10 years, the parliament decided to build a new school for them. I mean, after 10 years, the people who came to build their portables said it was going to take probably one or two years to build it. And then they started building after 10 years, which is a lot of years. So I really like this book. And this book, it caught my attention about how people struggle to go to school. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.